Gaines, Wyatt, Gambrel, Thorne, Kendall, Benet. The starting five for the Braves. Alley oop, flush. Nice look, nice find, tie game. Well, Alcorn State is definitely game ready. It's their third game this week. An insane schedule for the Braves as Hunter to a 37. Tigers in control in ACC play from last season. Five to two early. Deep three, the response, count it. Alcorn State will push the ball up the floor. They're not afraid to run and play five out basketball. Both teams on fire early after Thanksgiving. Teams in the country according to Ken Pomp. Nice ball movement and a three. Chase Hunter. Is an X and O coach, but as a program builder, does things the right way. Yeah, his players are always very rarely you see his players have a problem getting in trouble. So Brad Brunell is the Clemson's very lucky to have him. They've got depth, they've got talent. Maybe the evolution of Chase Hunter makes all the difference. And an ACC that's much improved as well this year as Hall counted and won. For weeks when the schedule steps up a notch, but here's what makes Hall so good and so tough. And they do a nice job of spacing the floor. Thorne, good contest, somehow found it, banked it in. That's good defense by Clemson, but sometimes offense by accident for the forwards or the guards to slide down and contest. Ooh, long two. That goes down for Thorne. Well, most players like to play more than practice, and Alcorn State's had a lot of games this week, and they look like you know, they're feisty out there. They're going to be tough in their league, in there, but they're not as tough as this guy. Clemson has slowly pulled ahead now by double digits. Oh, shooters touch. You know, the ACC's good. You look from top to bottom. It's a much deeper conference than it was a year ago. We mentioned Miami's better. Virginia Tech's going to have a good season. Pitt's been, they finished strong last year. They will. North Carolina's going to bounce back here. You, know, you got some other X factors. NC State, you don't know them. Looks like BC's improved as well. Out of doubt, Miami winning the ball. The Braves have mixed in different defenses. Clemson has looked pretty good so far. Gerard from downtown and one. Get ball watching. You better know where Gerard is and be able to get to him in one step on the catch. And there you see on the catch. Did he play? I thought he was just an announcer. I didn't know that J.J. <laughs> Reddick played. Oh, man. Channeling his inner J.J. Reddick from beyond the arc there. Way downtown, that's JJ range. That one was too, back to back. Good start for the Tigers defense. They played much better in the second half against the Broncos of Boise State. The drive, is it a blocking foul? It is, count it, and one for Chase Hunter. Knifing his way through the defense, either hand, body control, takes the hit. It's still They're challenging him on the defensive side of things. Try and pick up the other team's point guard, but as he gets a steal here, you get the feeling the Tigers, they're gonna take a step forward. The freshman. Thorne, yes! Nine for Thorne, the lead down to 12 for the Tigers. To start the year for Godfrey. Defensively, has a knack for, for blocking shots. Ooh, nice. Mid-range, step back, jumper. Third team ACC member last year after averaging 15 points per game. Shefflin throwing it down. And Shefflin is a guy who just does a good job of moving without the ball. The little attacking with their head up, understanding where their teammates are. And again, right there, looking for the open man on the backside. The 23rd assist of the night for Clemson. Benet, they'll call him for basket interference. They actually did not commit offensive goaltending. The feisty group used to winning. There he is, Benet! Clemson was very relaxed on that possession. Uh, Ronell's trying to find the energy on defense. His team right now is 
good offensively, but defensively not as fundamental as Brad wants him to be. It's hard to defend because they've got so many undersized guys that are quick and play out on the perimeter. Clock was winding down. He knew to come out and set a ball screen or flash up to the high post to kind of relieve some pressure, and then they get the offensive rebound and do score. On their way to win number five on the year. It gets tougher for the Tigers, though. Starting with a road trip to Tuscaloosa next week. Oh, another nice shot. And you're playing a team that's one and six. You know, sometimes it's hard to get yourself, your team to play hard for 40 minutes, but right out of the gate tonight, P.J. Hall imposed his will, saying, I'm not letting anything negative happen. Final few seconds, they're gonna take off the clock. Clemson moving to five and oh. A dominant second half. And thankful, no doubt, 